Hey guys, it's Lori with Elm's Crafty Creations and I have a quick tutorial for you guys. This is my December Craftology Box project. I'm a little late getting this out to you guys. I filmed the tutorial, I guess last weekend, and my camera kept freezing on me and it just didn't turn out at all. So I am re-filming it this weekend um, using my brand new computer, so I am hoping that that resolves the problem with the freezing frames that sometimes happens in my videos. So um, I've tested it a little bit and it seems to be working well so far. So we are going to learn how to make this simple album right here. And let's go ahead and start with the base pages, which are some, here they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, base page, base page. Set that aside and set those aside. Okay. For your base pages, you're going to need four pieces cut to five inches by seven inches with no scoring and then four pieces cut to six inches by seven inches and you're going to score on the six inch side at half an inch on each end. And I am going to go ahead and fold. Now I'm just using scrap paper to do this so I'm kind of kind of put it together a little sloppily just for video purposes. So I'm going to attach this onto this to make my base page. And I've already put together the other three base pages. So I just wanted to do one together. I always try to save one to do one with you guys. Just in case there's some new people out there that aren't familiar with album making. So here's our base page where the page is going to attach to your hinge. Okay, so on the front of this page, we're going to have an acetate flap. So you're going to need to cut, you're going to have two of these in the book, so you're going to want to cut two flaps at seven inches by five and a half inches, and you're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. I'm going to fold on that score line and I'm going to add my glue and add it to the top of the page. Just line it up. Okay, so now we have a flap here. So let's go ahead and open this page up and let's add our pocket on this side. There's a side pocket right here and you're going to cut this inside pocket to four and three quarters by five and seven eighths. You're going to score on the four and three quarter inch side at half an inch and then on the five and seven eighths of an inch side at half an inch on each end. And I'm going to miter my corners where the score lines cross and then go ahead and fold. And you're going to add glue here on your sides. And this pocket is going to be added with the um, opening facing to the right. You're going to add it right, line it up with the bottom and the left hand side of the page. Now you should have a little gap. Do you see that between the page? Mine's not completely stuck down. Between the pocket and the flap. That allows your flap to close properly. So you want that little gap. Now let's close that flap and on here I did acetate pockets. Let me show you quick what those look like. If you haven't seen the full album review, it is linked down below. This is what the acetate pocket, so we have our flap and then the side pocket. 
and there's an acetate pocket here. Now you can choose to do the acetate or not. That's up to you. I'm only going to show you how to do, there's two of these pockets in the album, but I'm only going to show you how to do one for time's sake. So this is what it is. I cut this at 5 inches by 8 eight inches and I scored on the five inch side at half an inch and then on the eight inch side at half an inch on each end and um, what I did is flipped it over and on the back I've already drawn some lines here so I measured an inch over from each side that had a score line and drew a line and then from the side that did not have a score line I measured over half an inch and drew a line and then you'll cut this square out right here if you want the acetate window. Okay? So I'm not going to do that in this video. I've done it in several other videos. So um, my last album, several albums have had acetate pockets. But what you would do is just cut this out and then you would put acetate around, uh, I'm sorry, score tape around the perimeter of your acetate. And if you do this, you want to cut your acetate to four and a quarter by six and three quarters and that will fit perfectly in this space here. Okay, so I'm going to miter my corners and you can choose not to add the acetate if you don't like but I really like the way it looks so and you're just going to add your glue. And this goes directly on top. Of the flap. Just going to kind of burnish that down a bit. Okay, so there's our acetate pocket, except for it's not, <laughs> and then you flip it up and you have your side pocket here. Now for the next page, you're going to flip this one over, and right here, we're just going to do a simple um, pocket. These are skinny pockets. There's four of these in the album, so you want to cut four. You, let's see, the measurement is one and a half inches by eight inches score on the 8 inch side at half an inch on each end and then on the one and a half inch side at half an inch and I'm going to miter the corners where the score lines cross and it really is a teeny tiny pocket just going to add some glue and I'm going to stick it down right here at the bottom. I'm just going to hold this for a minute. For some reason, this glue takes just a teeny bit longer to dry, or this paper does, um, with this glue for some reason. For some reason, the craft cardstock, and this is actually art glitter glue, by the way, if you're wondering my favorite glue. Then we're just going to add a simple photo mat flap here. So this is cut at six and three quarters by four and a quarter. You're going to score on the six and three quarter inch side at half an inch. And you're going to fold and burnish that score line. Add your glue to the inside. Or tape if you prefer. And this one goes on the inside of the base page with the glue or tape facing up. So that is my page one. Okay? So let's move on to page two. So I already have my base page made here, and yeah, okay. We're going to start off with a, a side pocket. 
this one you cut to it's a little bit different four and three quarters of an inch by six inches and you're going to score on the four and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch and then on the six inch side at half an inch on each end for this one I'm going to go ahead miter these And then I'm going to add this, just like I did on the other one, with the opening facing to the right. And then we're going to add some flaps on top of this one. So the first flap you're going to add is this one. And it measures... Which one is this? Where's my ruler? Sorry guys. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Four and a half by five and a half. Yeah, and you're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. I don't remember which one that was. So fold on that score line and burnish. Add glue to the top. And you're going to place it right at the top of that pocket. So it's going to be a full size flap that flips up. And then you're going to do cut a piece at four and three quarters. Why am I losing my measurements? I'm so sorry by four and three quarters by five and score on the four and three quarter inch side at half an inch. And I'm going to fold on that one. And you're going to put your glue. You could either put it on the inside or the outside depending on what you want to do. I'm going to put mine on the outside. So you could tuck it underneath this flap if you wanted. And I'm going to place it right on top of this flap we just placed down. Did I cut that too short? Sure did. Oh, I cut the other one too long. Okay, sorry guys, hold on. Hold your horses. So my first flap should have been... It would help if the ruler were in the right direction. Four and a quarter. By five and a half. So, the measurements on my little dill are wrong. Oh, no they're not. I just cut it wrong. Okay. I'm sorry. So, that means that this one is right. Okay, well yours won't have this little overhang like mine does. Mine's hanging over and I didn't even notice that when I put it in on here. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Yours will be correct. So just ignore me. So how this works is it flips open this way and I put a magnet here and then it'll flip up for two more photos. And then you have a side pocket. But yours will be cut correctly. Okay, now flip this over and I've already placed here um, one of those small pockets cut at eight by one and a half again. So that's what's gonna go there. And then on this side, we're gonna do like an accordion fold um, pocket. So, let me show you quick what that looks like. And it's this one right here. So there's our skinny pocket right there. And then you'll have a place for a photo. And then here is that accordion fold pocket. And I did, you know, an acetate window again. And you can choose to do that or not. So, for the flap that's going to attach to this, you need to cut two of these at seven and a half inches by five inches and you score on the seven and a half inch side at half an inch and I'm going to go ahead and miter these corners and fold 
And I'm going to add my glue on the inside. And I'm going to tuck this right in the inside of the base page. Okay, so there's my flap. And then I'm going to do the accordion part now, which is this right here. So if you want to make this an acetate pocket, I can't, all my stuff's falling. Okay, so I have my score lines here. The accordion pockets you cut to at 10 inches by 5 inches. Score on the 5 inch side at half an inch, is what this is right here. And then score on the 10 inch side at half an inch, 1 inch, 1 and a half inches. And then 8 and a half inches, 9 inches, and 9 and a half inches. And then, my shirt's getting in the way on the table. Um, what I do is, what do I want to tell you first? If you want to make this an acetate pocket, you're going to flip this over to the bumpy side of the score lines. And you're going to have to draw half an inch lines. I forgot to do it on this one for you. So... I need to draw a line on my score line in order to be able to see what I'm doing here. So that's what I'm going to do first so I can see my score line. That one I don't have to do it so much. So what I would do is I'm going to draw half an inch away from my score line right there. So there's my score line and there's my half an inch mark. So again here I have my score line. My score line's here and then my half an inch away from the score line. On this side I'm going to do the same thing. And then on this side that's more than half an inch. Trying not to confuse you guys. And then here, so there's my lines. And what you would do if you want to make this an acetate pocket is just cut on those lines. And I would take a, your ruler and um, a craft knife and, to do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut your acetate to the same size as the other um, acetate pocket we did before at four and a quarter by six and three quarters and put tape on the outside of your acetate and then stick it right here and now you can finish making your accordion pocket so to do that what we're going to do so we have this score line down here I'm just going to trace out these lines so that you can see them and see what I'm doing I did this in my last one of my last albums as well, so you may already be familiar with this if you made the Alpine, Authentic Alpine album. So you're going to cut, you should have three little boxes here from your score lines, you're going to cut that off. So I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to cut here. Cut those three boxes out. Same on the other side. Here, and here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold away on the first score line and then fold toward me on the second score line and then fold away from me again on the third score line and then burnish that. I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. I'm going to fold away and burnish and then toward me and then away from me and burnish. So now that I have my little folds, you kind of hold this down and I have to kind of bring it up toward me and then fold this last flap up and burnish it a bit. And what I do is stick a little dot of glue on each side here and hold it down right there. Okay. 
just going to hold that in place for a second. Once that dries, I'm going to grab my page again and I'm going to attach this right here. So I'm just going to add my glue. And I'm going to stick it right on this flap. Just make sure you get it lined up and stick it down. There will be a little gap up here at the top. That's okay. That's how I designed it. And there is your accordion pocket. You can fit quite a few photo mats in that thing. Okay, so that is page two. So for page three, it's really simple. You're going to cut two flaps at four and a quarter by six and three quarters. Score on the six and three quarter inch side at half an inch. Do two of those, and you're going to add one of your skinny pockets on the front of this one. And then you're going to fold on your score lines. And you're going to add one flap on each side of the base page. So here's number one. We're going to put the glue on the inside of the flap. And stick it into the base page and I just centered it on the page. So the first one's going to go on the left hand side or you can do either one, it doesn't matter which order. I'm going to add glue again on the inside here and then I'm going to use the first one that I placed down and just line them up together. And so I now I have two flaps for photos. Okay, then this flips over. And right here, we already did one of these together. The, um, this will be an acetate pocket. And it's not the accordion one, it's just the regular one. So I've already put that together here, since I've already showed you. And you're going to flip that open. And here we did, I did something a little different. I did belly bands. So you cut one at two inches by five and seven eighths. Score on the five and seven eighths of an inch side at half an inch on each end. And I'm going to go ahead and fold on these and add my glue. And I'm just going to place it not in the middle, kind of off-centered, because we'll be adding another one to be a stacked belly band. So there's the first one. I might have went too far to the left on there. For the second one, you're going to cut it at two and a half inches by five and seven eighths. And you're going to score on the two and a half inch side at half an inch, and then on the five and seven eighths of an inch side at half an inch at each end. And then you're going to miter it like a regular pocket just like that, but you're only going to fold on the score lines on the sides. Go ahead and add your glue. And you're going to stick this half of an inch, whatever you call it, hinge, <laughs> into the, pot, the other belly band. Does that make sense? So then they stack together. Okay, so now we have two belly bands, and I think we got the spacing pretty good. So there's a belly band there, and then one there. And then this closes, and that is page three. Page four, there is um, like an envelope pocket. So you're going to need a large piece cut to five and a quarter by seven inches and you're going to score on the five and a quarter inch side at half an inch and then again at five eighths of an inch which I didn't make my second score line on this one. 
So you're going to go ahead and fold on both score lines. I only have one, so I'm only going to fold on one, but you will have two. So you fold on the half inch, and then you'll be folding on the... I should go ahead and do that, shouldn't I? I don't want to confuse anybody. Forgive my huge scoreboard in the way. Let me go ahead and just give these some gussets here, like I originally intended for them to have. Since it only takes a second. Okay. Now, now I'm going to go ahead and fold on that second line. So this will give you a little eighth of an inch gusset. See, there you go. So now, add your glue to the bottom. And then stick this on the bottom of your page. And it should line up perfectly with the page. That art glitter glue doesn't give you much room for error. So the top flap, we're going to cut that at 2 and 3 quarters by 7 inches. Score on the 2 and 3 quarter inch side at half an inch, and then also at 5 eighths of an inch, just like you did on this piece. So I like to do that first score line, and then get in there for that second one give my little gusset. I'm going to add my glue here. And I'm going to put this right at the top. Okay, now it's coming together. Now you're going to need two pieces cut at 5 inches by 2 and a half inches. You're going to score on the 2 and a half inch side at half an inch and then also at 5 eighths of an inch just like we did the other pieces. Go ahead and fold on those and burnish. Okay, I'm going to add the first one over here. Just make sure when you glue it down, you're not going over that score line. You don't want to glue down that eighth of an inch gusset that you have. It's there so that you can fit several photo mats inside this little space. And then you're going to glue the other one down on the other side. And this just keeps everything locked in, so nothing falls out of your album. There we go. So your two flaps fold in, this one folds up, and then you'll have a magnet closure or a swing tab if you like, and that folds down and there's your little envelope. And then if you turn over to the other page, what you'll have is you'll add a, um, another skinny pocket on the opposite side of that page, and then you'll add another accordion envelope. And that's it. That's the entire album. Now, I do want to tell you guys that for the binding system, I used um, the Hidden Hinge Plus binding system by Kathy King, which I use most of the time now. So, oops, almost lost my computer. Um, the reason why I used it in this album, which since this is a smaller album, <coughs> excuse me, I wouldn't have always done it, but the reason why you need it in this album is because you see 
this accordion pocket, if this is put right up against the spine, it's the page is not going to function properly. It's going to constantly be getting stuck because you have this gusset here. So you need to be a little bit away from the page in order to make your page turn. Now, if you want to know how to do her binding system, you have to obviously visit her page. Uh, <clears throat> but you can do the same thing by using a modified version of the Stack the Deck binding, which I've done here, and I've shown you all this before. But instead of doing the additional scoring, um, you would cut one piece at two and a half inches by five inches, and you'll score on the two and a half inch side at one inch, which is what I've done here, and one and a half inches. And then you'll cut a second piece at three and a half inches by five inches, and then you score at one inch and then two and a half. So this gives you one inch hinges, and so what you can do is just add your page onto half of this hinge. So you'll add your glue here, and then, I mean, I'm just going to throw my pages away so I can show you that quickly. You just add your glue here, you know, on each side. Granted, this is pretty sloppy. This is not how I would do my book, obviously. But I just wanted to do it for example's sake. And, and of course I didn't miter anything or do anything. You would have to miter the corners. and just stick your binding system, your page, onto just half of that hinge. So see what I've done there? So just on half of it. And that way you have half of it sticking out. Now if I use Stack the Deck, I always use Tyvek. So I usually use a combination of cardstock and Tyvek, so I would glue Tyvek onto each piece of cardstock to do that kind of binding system. Um, I just think it makes it sturdier. So you can do either way that you want with your album. And I also wanted to tell you that on the front cover here, I did an acetate pocket here as well, where you could stick like a photo in here so you can see it on the front cover. And the measurements for this are the exact same as the measurements for this pocket right here in case you wanted to um, add that. And I think that that's it. My photo mats were cut using scraps. So like this one right here, I was able to fit a 4x4 four four card here and then a piece of cardstock and, you know, some trim of the sticker on the edge there for decoration. So, um, and then some of them were cut, like these are 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. This is 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. I tried to use a lot of my scraps. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So there is my December Craftology box album. Please visit countrycraftcreations.com to purchase the monthly Craftology box. The kit for this month has obviously already been sold out. This collection is the Echo Park... Um, Gosh, what is it called? It has to do with crafts. I'm so sorry. I love crafts or something like that. I forgot. <laughs> it totally escaped me. But it was really cute. Um, so this collection's already sold out. But you can sign up for next month or, or multiple months. And it's always a really great kit. And Tamara does a great job of providing tons of stuff to make beautiful projects. And... Um, we have a great design team that makes just gorgeous cards, if that's your thing. Or you can make an album with the collection or just whatever you like. So visit countrycraftcreations.com to purchase that. And then also visit us on Facebook. Um, you can see the Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations is the Facebook page for the store. Or you can visit my Facebook page at LM's Crafty Creations. And... I hope you enjoyed the album. Thanks for watching.